hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl lucy aka luantas back with another DIY video so guys in this video i'll be starting a room transformation on my younger sister's room yeah because she's not around now and guys i promise to be posting more often than before yeah but in this particular video i made or i transformed her old bed to something really nice i used i did a tufted bed head for her to go with the new look i made on the bed yes guys please don't forget thumbs up this video if you like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done that let's head to the video already so this is what it looked like before the transformation and i'll show you guys what it looked like after the transformation at the end of the video so i made the framework already i'll be showing you guys how i make this framework on my instagram soon but by the way i used the exact same size of my bed so if you're going to be making this i think you might be needing to measure your bed width so you can be able to get the size you want so i'm going to place the plywood i got on top of the framework i already made and then i'm going to start using my staple gun or i'm going to staple the wood to the plywood yeah and i'm using a staple gun because my wood is really light and if you have something thicker i think you should use your nail and hammer So because I have trust issues, I decided to use nail and hammer to attach every end of the work because I don't want to hear stories or I don't want to have any reason to doubt the strength of my project. So I applied wood glue on the part where I want to put my foam on and then I'm going to just throw the foam on and press it on. The part where I'm leaving empty is the part where I want to attach the main bed frame to this headboard. After that I'm just going to cut off the excesses and I'm not going to leave it because I told you earlier. I want to attach this part to the bed without having it look bulky and yes I measured this and this is the exact height of my bed so the next thing we're going to do is make marks on the foam to serve as a guide for our toftens so after that I'm just going to go straight into cutting open the foam at the exact places I made the marks. Once that is done, we're going to draw on the fabric. I don't even remember why exactly I chose pink, but I think it's because my younger sister really loves pink. Yeah, I think that's why. But I was really skeptical about my color decision, but it really turned out nice and I really loved it. And yeah, that's why I'm uploading this video. If I didn't love it, I wouldn't have uploaded it. And then next thing we're going to do is start finding the holes with our hands as usual and then staple on the holes like so to make our toftens and that's a perfect toftens you know you're doing the right thing when you start seeing diagonal lines across the holes
so i don't really know if you guys remember the place where we left um without foam or foamless yeah that place i'm going to cover with just leather because we don't want our work looking rough and by the way guys i made this video at my balcony that's why you see the camera moving up and down because it's really small and my younger brother has to change the camera angles for me and then next i'm going to staple the back the excess fabric at the back and cut off the extra excess fabrics <laughs> yeah that's right so since we're almost done with the headboard we're going to move on to the bed frame and we're going to apply wood glue then put the foam on it's not really holding strong so i'm going to just go ahead and step with the ends because i want it to hold fast so i can move on to the next stage So after that I'm just going to go in with the fabric and then I'm going to cover it up and arrange it properly so it could be smooth. Next I'm going to pull the fabric at the back or the excess fabric at the back tightly and then start stapling on them to the back of the frame. You, you have to do this carefully guys because if you have lots of excesses it's not going to come out fine like mine and by the way i did this this way because i'm not moving the bed anywhere soon you might be needing to separate your bed frame while doing this project so next we're going to start putting the buttons i got some crystal buttons this time I'm not using the fabric button today and yeah I'm going to be mixing these two glues together because I want a stronger hold I'm going to be using my glue gun and E6000 oh sorry E B7000 glue yeah Ta-da! I love how this turned out. I really love it. Everyone around loves it. My sister hasn't seen it yet. This is my cousin on it. She really loves it too. And she's saying hi to you guys. That's by the way. Please make sure to thumbs up this video if you like it. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done that. And please, please share this video with your friends. Bye!